guys quick video about test template a uh, and how to use it and what it's there for so test template a uh, this is our most popular safety template and it gives you a really really good idea um, about whether the dimensions of your chosen toy uh, are going to comply with en 71 1 in this case which is the mechanical and physical aspects of your toy so this replicates the inside of a child's mouth and basically if your toy passes through to the base even by a millimeter it is unsafe for a child it can impact the back of their throat and cause damage as well as obviously blocking their airway so this is a big deal so I'm going to show you some examples of how to test um, and I'm going to show you compliant and non-compliant toys to hopefully give you a better idea so there are some that are quite obvious so this is a little silicone pineapple readily available in china it's also worth mentioning that this is a knockoff of somebody's original design um, the original design is compliant these are not so if you're wanting a pineapple you need to go to Logan and Alice and order direct from them. You'll get a beautiful pineapple that's much bigger and safety compliant. So, test template A, pineapple, China, knockoff. You position this on different angles to see whether any part of this was going to pass through this template. So, you could start off with, that doesn't, but turn it that way and it'll actually, this one will just slip right through. But even if it just protruded by the millimetre, it would fail. So these are a no-go and there's no way to make them compliant either. Then we've got this little fish that's adorable and look, looks like it could be okay until you get to its tail and it's not okay. So that's protruding just slightly based on its own mass not compliant. Now we have a cute silicone elephant that we saw in the store that is compliant. So you test it from all angles including there and as you can see it doesn't pass through at all. So shape, shape and size compliant and also the silicone is compliant too. Beaded ring which we made earlier on a demo using these wood rings that we supply that are safety certified and are lovely again you can go around testing your chosen beaded ring that you've made and you can see that that but this is why it's important not to put pressure on a toy because silicone is so flexible you can squish it right up like that and if you do that, it will fail. So that's why you need a nice firm circle as well, because if you've got a loose circle, the beads will effectively just fall through. And this, you can see here, it's a bangle, but I often sell these as, as toys as well, because it's they are compliant as a toy. So these are great because you can wear them. They're gorgeous. They don't look like a teether, and yet, you can hand it happily to your baby, uh, knowing that it's completely safe for them. Look, can you see? But again, if you were squishing it, it would go through. So that's why, why you don't squish it. So these are made of plastic. These are guide templates only. This is why you can't use them in just by themselves. You've got to get your products tested. Because they're plastic, there's a very, very small margin of error, under a millimetre, but it can make a big difference. So this will give you an idea, a good idea, about whether your toy that you're about to sell is compliant or not with terms of shape. But for absolute, guaranteed peace of mind, you must have them tested at a test house where they use metal ones. You can buy the metal ones, but they're pretty expensive. Um, so it's another reason why. Use this as a guide. They'll give you a really good idea if your product's going to test, uh, fail testing or pass testing based on its dimensions. But 
you need to you need to get your toys tested at a test house um, we've got details on the websites of um, a couple that I highly recommend that are very good. Uh, hope that helps.